Video games are awesome, but it's way too easy to get carried away and lose track of time. We decided to solve this problem as part of our final build from Mark Rober's creative engineering course. Whoa, are you Mark Rober? Schaefer, I am your father. <laughs> a few options that we thought of were to hang a lightsaber near a TV and change the colors as the time ticked down, and another was to use an LED strip with hot glue sticks as many lightsabers as a gauge for how much time was left. We really wanted to use our training with the force. But what we really mean is we want to use the different things we learned in the course with mechanical and electrical design and combine those for the solution we came up with. But I liked the other idea better. We wanted the saber to go up when we earned our video game time and to go down when we used our video game time. We needed to pick a motor, so we tested a continuous servo, but went with the stepper motor. Then we selected some NeoPixels for the lights. A few iterations later, we created something with the 3D printer to raise and lower the saber. After it was too late, we realized we could have used a belt system to make the base more compact, but let's not let the dark side creep in. After adding some buttons, switches, and a buzzer for the droid noise, and some code, the only thing missing now was the sabers. We used one inch acrylic rod and sanded two of them to get this frosted look. Putting it all together, it looks awesome. So how it works when it first powers up, it will go down and hit the switch and it'll stop. Each time we hit the button, it gives us 15 more minutes for video game time. <laughs> Once the switch is flipped, the timer is started and the saber starts dropping. We sped it up for the sake of this video. We left part of the saber showing so we could hear and see it when it's done. This course has been a ton of fun and it's really spurred on our family to do a lot of STEM projects together. Now help me clean this stuff up. 